Alright, welcome back to our Let's Play of Ravenloft Strad's Possession. If you remember from our last game, we had gone under the Ivis with the ninja and the pervert, and found the portal that was supposed to take us home, but instead it just dumped us back out here. Now neither of them are left to be found, and the only hint we have of where to go next is this vestibule key. But we are alone and have no people to help us, so we're first going to visit this little building over here. Ah, there's somebody in here. Let's talk to this fine, upstanding looking gentleman. And the wolf, bear. Looks like a bear. Bear cowl. How are you today, sir? There aren't many with the courage to live alone out here. Not that I've seen. And what do you see? What can you see beyond light, beyond dust moat stirred in some corner near a window, or some brief flash in the sky which frightens you to the bone? Well, I see the echo of your thoughts and hear the scent of your fear. Ha! Ah, you think me mad, but magic does that, doesn't it? I am mad with magic. My strange speaking friend. If you are a mage, what are you doing in this meager hut near the Ibis? Where should I be? Sitting beside some burgomaster's fireplace in an overstuffed chair as though I were his property or his prize? Or squandering my powers to maintain a household of my own? No. I sit here, happy in the rich cathedral of my mind. I observe the rule of excellence. I am ready for anything. I am waiting for you. Perhaps you would think more clearly if you walked the trail a while. Would you take the air at my side? Of course. You are, after all, not here to serve me, but to serve destiny. Wherever I go with you, it will be as it must. And I, in turn, will learn whatever it is you are here to teach me. Oh, don't worry if you don't understand. Even I, a great and powerful wizard, do not understand. I only do what the day requires. Alright, now we have him in our party. Was it Rizard? Rizard the Mad Wizard. Here to help us out. But it's not magic that I'm gonna get rid of that. Rizard's actually one of the better wizards you can find in the game. He has the highest intelligence score, which is what helps which is what helps you get uh well to get spells and cast more of them and cast them more effectively. Well I'll dump some equipment on him. was dumped on the ground. We'll pick up most of it now. Don't want a regular old Warhammer. Or a regular old shield. This is one Warhammer, so let's switch those. We're not going to be able to pick up everything, but just these guys. But we'll get as much as we can for the time being. Oh, what do you know? We did pick up everything. Alright, so before we go any further, there's something around here I want to show you guys. That's going to play into the next place that we go. Maybe or pray for spells for them. Right. See, there's another cave over here, in this corner. And let's see what we have down here. Well, well, 
Is this rather unsettling looking fellow? Get away! By all the gods, leave this place! Do you would have us leave? You are not evil. But you may not be alone. Do other dangers lurk here on scene? You are wasting time! Flee! Flee before my mind succumbs to arrogant wolfish hunger! And beware! I am not the only soul thus afflicted! A progenitor roams these woods! A beast who lives in the unholy joy of the cruelty he causes! He is a large albino! Beware that sight and run without looking back! In our travels, we have learned of lycanthropy. The cure is dangerous, but we are willing to attempt it. Oh, by the spirit of my father! By my mother's enduring love! Yes! Anything! I swear to you my undying gratitude! All that I can, all that I have to give will be yours! Go then, prepare what you must! Retreat from the terrible rage that overcomes my heart! You must destroy the heart of the infection, the progenitor. Three spells must be then cast upon you. May we find you here. He who is the root of this evil is an albino, a great and arrogant beast who lurks these woods. Ah, my will fails me. My heart is sheathed, held fast by a passion to red flesh and work my jaws in snapping bound. The pain is great. But yes, I shall do what I can to wait for your return. You're in pain. Is there anything we can do to help? Ah, such courage! If only my blood did not run my guys, or beat with a coward's pulse, I might ask you to end my misery. Please get away. Have you no recognition of the form I take? Soon I will lose all power to keep the beast at bay. Like an enraged wolf, I will lurch beyond all compass, beyond all restraint. Listen to me! Pardon me. So we found this werewolf down here. Someone that we might actually be able to save. But if you remember from the book on lycanthropy we found before, we can't do that until we destroy the progenitor, which is the werewolf who first gave him the curse, and find three magic spells to cast on him. The reason I brought you over there to see him is because where we're going, we're going to find those spells. So, we got this key to the church. Now, the church itself is not in Barovia, it's outside of it. And I'll take you there next. First, we're going to grab another party member. We've got room for four, so we might as well make use of that. Oh, kitty! No, Gordon. You cannot eat the cat. Barovia and Misery are one and the same. All those who live here are the, are the waifs of fate, doomed to take shelter in this wasteland of a town, with no hope for a normal life. Alright, somewhere around here is Velkia's house. Gotta find out where it is, though. I have to check the old man. Oh, here it is. By the Polygon's house. So let's try this one. Ah, uh, there she is. Now we've gone through all this dialogue with her before, so I'm just gonna ask her to join us. Blade, book, and sleight of hand. These tools of mine are at your command. May we journey together with laughter in our voices, and the sound of jingling coin ever closer to our ears. Now we got her in the party, let's move on. First, I think I'm going to take the time to mark her house down.
There we go. And the churchyard is over here to the north. Over by where we found the, uh, what was it, the key to the Paladin's uh, dungeon? Here, I'm going to take a moment to save. I'll call it church. And through the magic of video editing, I'm going to do a little uh, inventory management. And I'm going to do a little exploring with these guys. So we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're back. I went to the uh, caverns under the Ibis for a little bit to crack some skulls. And the most interesting thing I found down there was the Mage Scroll of Haste. A nice little boost that we're going to get a lot of uh, use out of further in the game. Oh. And I also found this. A halibur. Halibirds are so dang badass. I just like, I like pole weapons and staffs and stuff like that. Halibirds, Naginatas, Barty Corbins. Lucerne hammers. Let's just just put axes and swords on the ends of spears. I love that stuff. Alright. Oh. Not so hasty in passing. This curious herald upon the wall deserves some examining. All information is of use in this strange land. Cherish and obey the land, but defy it not. Here we are in the old church. The next part of our adventure. The only reason we know to come here is because we found that key. Which we don't need anymore, so there'll be a key over there. If any place might shed the aura of dark, unwelcome secrets which hangs about Barovia, I had hoped this temple might be it. How foolish. There is an air of desecration here stronger than words can express. Alright, got some reasonably tough guys coming up. Let's boost ourselves. Let's open the door and head in. There we go. Hell animals. Horrible, fire-breathing dogs from hell. D&D has equivalents of hell. Sometimes actually just hell. seems lost in divine service. We'll rouse him gently from his prayers. Father, can you hear me? Father? The old priest stares into a void, his eyes unseeing, his frame unmoving. It is as if, long ago, his flesh and bones solidified in their present posture. Well, can't talk to the priest right now. Keep looking around. What do we got here? Ah, we knew another path beyond this gloomy realm would present itself. Indeed, strides to help a portal in the caverns beneath the Ibis may have been no more than a distraction. Think of it. By those words he sent us off, consumed with the idea of escaping Ravenloft. Yet our quest remained to recover the amulet belonging to Lord Delt. To that tra task we must remain true. Alright, so this little note here tells us another way we can get out of Ravenloft. First, going to need a magical catalog, but the book itself is not enough. I'm trying to remember the name of that catalog, but that's alright. Beat up some hellhounds 
first. We're also going to need a blue and red gem, a finely crafted elven piece, or some sort of uh, object of art, a were raven's feather, the mist tower card. If you remember, Madame Eva mentioned that her mist tower card was missing. Sort of face in there. Let's see what the mirror has to say. I never thought to see such as this. Not in a church. Spirit of the mirror, can you hear me? Tell us the future, or grant wishes. Are you that sort of spirit? Or, no. You're the spirit of the poor magic brown bound peak. Wow. You are the spirit of this poor magic bound priest. That is our goal for venturing here for the time being. To find a way to free the priest's spirit. The beat of skeleton bats. Oh, there you are. That's how we're going to free the priest. we got to find the missing page to this manuscript so we can get the word of power that will release him. Now that we're in the lower level, we're going to save in our quick save slot. Oh, there's our first enemy. Took him down pretty quickly. And also got shot back up to the first level. So yeah, down here is polluted with zombies. They're not terribly tough, but there are there are a good number of them to be found. Now somewhere around here we have bows. Beatrice has a quiver full of arrows of slay on dead. So let's try using some of them. Oh, I guess we missed. 
One from the zombie. Fire now. I'm doing so good. Arrows aren't doing a good job of slaying the undead. Alright, let's give her back her long sword. Start exploring. Worthwhile in here? Nope. Next. I need more corpses. Is in there? Nope, we got a treasure chest. Take a look at what's inside. A little detect magic. Well, robes aren't magic, so I'll leave them here. And we got another uh, pouch. What we got in the pouch? Ooh, magic ring. Ring of protection. Alright, we'll fill up this pouch with healing potions. Put this bow back in the chest. And I think we'll leave the chest alone for the time being. Ah! Stepping mode. Not a secret passage. Now that's a hard one to find, because who would go into that little corner? And on top of that, there's a crate in the way that makes it harder to get through. Alright. This is another tough part. Maybe hard to see, but they have these little buttons on the wall over here. Quiet, zombie, I'm trying to talk. If we press the wrong button, the fireball comes flying out of the wall over there. I know it's one of these buttons here on the left. Is it this one? Yes. More zombies. Zombies should burn pretty good, what do you think? This is a private pa place. A personal chapel for the head priest of this church. Now, Gordon's a cleric, so that's probably why we got that dialogue with him. And there we have it. This manuscript. Its parchment strikes me as familiar, and hauntingly so. I believe it matches the book we found. Unless I am mistaken, we will find we can piece it together with the place from which it was torn, and its origin in that book. So yeah, oh, as we play, we're going to find more... Pieces of the parchment. Come on, there we go. The cock crows. So probably four or five pieces. And once we find all of them, all of them we'll have the spell necessary to free the priest. Oh, there we go. There's our hint that there's an illusionary wall. Tale of Strad. Come on. Let's read it. See what it says.
It's a little bit more the story of Strad. Lying onto that book for the time being. So let's rest. Save our game just in case. A little prayer. A little light. And let's see what we got. And there we go. That is the zombie lord. It just means he's a particularly powerful type of zombie. Maybe we'll put him down reasonably quick, but you can see Gordon's picture here has turned blue. That's mean, that means he's diseased. And I was... I was able to plan ahead, knowing that, and learn some cure disease spells. And what we got over here? Another piece of the parchment. And where are we going now? Going back the way we came. And there's our hint for illusionary walls. Oh, there's a zombie. This door will not readily yield. It appears long forgotten, and would come as no surprise to me were the key to it nowhere within the church. We'll have to return when fortune places the key within our grasp. So yeah, the key that we have, this kind of circular gold key, doesn't work here. And because this is a, an important story door, we can't just cast knock on it. Oh, another dancing zombie. Wonder how many of those we'll find. But we can use the key on these doors. Oh, we got skeletons. Uh, we get turning. Maybe we'll just leave the key in our cursor right here, because we're going to need it for the next couple of doors. Review. Oh, dropped it. Okay, maybe that's a bad idea. Let's drop the key back in our inventory. Is it magic? 
Nope, not magic. But it's better than chainmail armor, so let's see if we can switch them. Sword? Nope. We got enough twin swords that aren't magical. More corpses. Yeah, but there's no goodies in here. I guess that's another dancing zombie. Let's try to hold him. Gotta put these third level spells to good use. Come on now. Oh, I think I know where this is. It's a storeroom. Get all kinds of potions and goodies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the other store is this another storeroom? Oh, it's storing zombies. Somebody cast burning hands. in here worthwhile. No. Nope. Went the wrong way. I'll get this eventually. Is that everywhere worthwhile? Nope. We still got one more place we can check out. What's that? Hey. Parchment fragment. Hey, come back here. I want your XP. Guard chambers. That's what we have here. Yes. Temples often hire a few mercenaries for protection. What's different here is that none have occupied these quarters for many, many years. Treasure chest at any rate. Here, Beatrice, you can hang on to it. And one last room to go into. Up in this place is full of weapons and skeletons. Suit of bronze plate mail around here. Oh, Man, I like bronze blonde. <laughs> I like bronze plate armor. Just like the idea behind it. Alright. I'm gonna keep the adamantine chain mail. Why am I hanging on to that robe? Get out of here, robe. Uh, 
I have to make more space in there. We got a free chest here. We'll put them in there. And all these swords are unfortunately normal, if I remember correctly. And another quiver. This one's full of arrows. So is yours. How about yours? Nope, only one arrow. So we'll switch. Alright, going way back the way we came. Got a couple more doors down here to check out. And a zombie just kind of getting somewhere. Ice Knife didn't bother me. Probably something I should have known. Ice spells don't bother the undead that much. Fire and Force, though. That's what we want. Blue Robe. Non-magical Blue Robe. That over there is something kind of useful. A key ring. We can keep our keys in there like a container. And then use the key ring on doors instead of the key itself. Oh. That's wonderful. Door opened on its own. Not all these zombies out. I'm surrounded by them. As surrounded by zombies as one can be. one way in the corner over there. Two of them, actually. Let's throw some magic missiles at them. Guess we got that one. You, you can get a fire arrow. Flame arrow. <laughs> Flip this switch. See, that's how the key ring works. Take out the zombie condo line. Nobody smells good here. Not really. Oh, there we go. Another parchment fragment. Okay. Oh, there we go. A button hiding in the wall. This button leads into a very useful area. Oh, special scroll of atonement. That's the second scroll that we'll need. But it leads to this. The Rod of Smiting. The Rod of Smiting is one of the more powerful magical items that you will find in the game. Come on. It's a plus three weapon with great damage ranges. And we're going to equip it to Gordon here. Because Gordon's one of the few guys... Well, not one of the few guys, but Gordon can only use blunt weapons, so that's good for him. And here is one of the more important items we're going to get. Trima's Catalog. A wasted attempt. Trima's Tome shall reveal its worth only when all the required items have been gathered. Perhaps a review of the list is in order. Well, no, not at the moment. We know more or less what we have to find. We need the catalog to start with, that's a given. The red and blue gem, the finely crafted piece of elven craftsmanship, the were raven feather, the tarot card, and Helm's holy symbol. Thank <laughs> you. 
lots of cleric scrolls. Flame Strike? Flame Strike is a badass spell. When we get a chance, I'll show that to you. Magic Stones, on the other hand, is not so badass. Prayer. Oh, might as well grab Prayer. Couldn't hurt to have another one. Detect Magic. Nope. I think we're almost done down here. Yep, almost. Atonement, cure disease. But where's remove curse? Did I miss remove curse? Alright, give me one second. Alright, I did miss it. It's tucked away in this little corner. Remove curse. Alright, so I believe we found everything that we need down here. Take a look-see. At dusk the cock crows. At midnight the mirrored sun. It is obvious the book is having no effect. If it is used closer to the mirror, we may see things take on a different light. Perhaps even the liberation of that poor, trapped soul. Well, let's go take a look-see. Here's the mirror. Here's the book. Let's read our magic words. Klatu, Varata, Nikto. Well, something happened. Shouldn't need this book anymore. Yes, yes, yes. Looks like the priest is up and about. Let's go say hello. It's good to see you mobile again, old priest. I take it the spirit in the mirror was yours. Oh, it was me. Indeed it was. Whoever you are, thank you. But go now. I am weary and this is no longer holy ground. It has been corrupted by the evil of Count Strahd von Zarovich. He came upon us as might a madman. No mortal could have defiled my church so easily, or dealt such vile blows to holy men. As if we were thieves, or worse. Uh, so perhaps those rumors of Strad being a tyrant are uh, more accurate than I immediately thought. We've seen the bones of another within your church. Was this the intruder who cursed you, or perhaps another of your flock? He was my novitiate. A devoted young man slain by Strahd the night my spirit was cast into the mirror. If only the vigor of life could be returned to his loyal bones, I'm certain he would work to bring the Count to justice. I myself am too weary from the ordeal, and I believe no mere spell can raise his dead bones. A resurrection is necessary. So we're going to need stronger magic than the raised dead scrolls. We had thought to venture into the cemetery beside your church, but we were unable to pass its mighty gate. Is there a key? There is a key. Giving it to you is the only reward a poor priest can provide for the gift of his spirit. And he hands us the key. Which we'll put on the key ring. And we are done with the church for today. Are we? And over here is 
the gate to the cemetery if I can get past these trees. And there we go. But I think we'll save the cemetery for next time. So we're going to call it a, uh, a night here. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to playing with you more next time. Oh, and next time, we'll take care of that wolf man, and we'll check out some other things in the city of Barovia. Thank you, and take care.